Hello everyone welcomes to my YouTube channel Recall Film Lovers. Today I am going to explain the comedy movie from 2012, That's My Boy. Watch out, spoiler content video. Opening within the year 1984, 15-year-old active and defiant wild child, Donny Berger, brags to his friends around scoring tickets to Van Halen. One of the friends proposes taking a young lady who they think is charming, but Donny pronounces he's not into young ladies any longer. He's into ladies. Ms. McGarrickle, the exotically hot instructor seen strolling through the lobbies of the school, pulling in the consideration of numerous young boys. Donny makes a really imbecilic move attempting to hit on her by welcoming her to the concert and inquiring for a handjob, coming about in a month's worth of detainment by Ms. McGarrickle. However, Ms. McGarrickle comes on to Donny, a very obviously inexperienced virgin, and invites him into her office, where his friend can hear the action. We see that this affair continues over several occasions, culminating during a school assembly, where they are caught having sex behind the stage curtain. As Ms. McGarrickle runs away embarrassed, the entire student body, and a few faculty members, begin applauding Donny. Then give him a standing ovation as he runs up front and embraces his victory. Ms. McGarrickle put on trial for statutory rape or having sex with a minor where the judge sentences her to 30 years in jail because the affair has resulted in a pregnancy. P. Donny's dad is pissed because the baby will be in his custody. As a result of this scandal, Donny becomes a nationwide sensation, getting a deal for a TV movie and becoming an overall celebrity. Present day. Donny meets with a man named Jim Nance, who informs Donny that he owes the IRS $43,000 after skipping taxes since 1994. They both talk about Donny's son whom he hasn't seen since he moved out, evidently because he was named Han Solo and was incredibly overweight. Jim suggests Donny get him to help, but he doesn't think that'll do anything. Jim also tells Donny about an obese man running in a marathon, and the odds on him are 8,000 to 1. Donny then bets $20 on him. Donny goes to a strip club and talks to waitress Bree, and stripper Champel. He sees a magazine with his son's picture, now very slim and having changed his name to Todd Peterson, and even making up a story that his parents died in an explosion. Donny learns that his son is getting married and that he is a successful hedge fund manager. In the next scene, we are introduced to Todd Peterson, and his fiancée Jamie. He is so nervous about her overbearing and annoying parents coming over that he even has a spare pair of underpants with him, she tells him to relax. Todd takes Jamie and her family to stay at his boss's house, Steve Spiru. Jamie's brother Chad, a Marine, comes in and intimidates Todd. Meanwhile, Donny goes to see a guy named Randall Morgan for money. He bumps into Vanilla Ice, who hates Donny for sleeping with his mom. They get into a fight until Randall breaks it up. He meets with Donny privately and tells him that he is no longer relevant like he was when he was a kid, so Donny schemes to get his name back out there while scoring some money. Randall tells him to get his son to come with him to the prison where his mother is for a reunion special and Donnie will get $50,000, as Todd and his fiancé's family and his boss are having lunch, Donnie appears and freaks Todd out. He pretends Donnie is his old friend, giving Donnie the opportunity to come up with an outrageous story about how he saved his life, which the family seems to believe. Todd pulls Donnie into a room to talk to him about how he was an awful father and he needs to go away so he won't ruin his wedding, but Donnie asks Todd to give him a chance, as well as going to see his mother in prison, making up a story about how she is terminally ill. Todd tells him to wear a tie for a cocktail party that's about to happen. Donnie puts on a tie but looks as informal as he can. He does manage to make an impression on Steve and his mother, along with other guests by going, was up. He tells the guests about the made-up story about saving Todd. He also meets a co-worker of Todd's named Phil, and his wife, Phil admits that he had no idea why Todd picked him as the best man. So he passes it to Donnie. Donnie then notices a baseball field nearby and has everybody go play. This makes Todd nervous because he can't play sports, and it shows as. He gets hit in the throat during the game. That night, Donnie hears Jamie yelling at Todd to get the cake, showing how whipped he is. Donnie sees him in the shower wearing a swimsuit. Revealing an old tattoo of new kids on the block with warped heads which Donny finds hysterical. They suddenly get into a tickle fight which becomes awkward when Donny waves his boner in Todd's face. 
Chad comes in and thinks they're wrestling, so he starts wrestling Todd, only to get knocked out by a bottle. Later, he whacks off to Steve's mom, who used to be a model. He admits to being turned on by the old woman now as opposed to the picture of her younger self. In the morning, she and Todd find all the used tissues on his bed. Everybody goes to church for a rehearsal with Father McNally. He says he is sorry Todd's dad couldn't be there, and Todd says he deserved his imaginary fate of dying in a car. Explosion. McNally berates him for speaking of his father like that when he didn't abuse him, so Todd insults him. This leads to a fight outside, and Todd getting his ass kicked until. Donnie knocks out the priest with a bottle. The family is pissed at Todd for provoking the priest, but Donnie saves him by telling the family that Todd had a bad experience with churches after. His dad's death, so he is forgiven, and they decide to have the wedding at Steve's home. As they are preparing at the home, Donnie learns that there will be a bachelor party. It turns out Phil booked a party at a men's treatment spa, bringing Donnie, Todd, Chad, Steve, and Jamie's dad Gerald. Donnie hates the place because he is not getting pleasures, even trying. To proposition the masseurs, he still wants to screw him. At the strip club, where they all get drunk and get lap dances, Brie appears and tells Todd she knows he is Donnie's son, but it'll be a secret. Chad, Steve, and Gerald go home. Donnie and Todd leave to bond. Donnie gives Todd an earring that Ms. McGarrickle gave him, though he makes him bleed while putting it in. They run into Vanilla Ice, who was known to Todd as Uncle V as a kid. Working at a skating rink, Donnie apologizes to Ice for sleeping with his mom, and he forgives him. They then go into the rink after smoking a bong, messing with the skaters. They go to a convenience store and drink beer without paying and get chased by the clerk with a shotgun, though he joins them in creating chaos as well, including stealing a little girl's bike. To teach Todd how to ride, even though he hits a car and interrupts an old couple having sex. They return home, and Donnie tells Todd he loves him, but Todd doesn't appear. To feel that way about him yet. Ice passes out in the front lawn as they go inside. Donnie ends up having sex with Steve's mom while Todd sees Jamie's wedding dress, thinking it's her, and starts humping it. He wakes up to Jamie screaming about the dress covered in puke, along with semen, which Jamie discovers after licking it. She yells at Todd and tells him to send the dress to the dry cleaners and to take off the earring. Ice then comes in after hearing the commotion, then goes back to banging Steve's mom. Donnie rushes to stop him, but Ms. McGarrickle is already coming to talk to Todd and Donnie. She is still in love with Donnie, and he still wants her back. That's when Randall and his crew come in and tape the reunion, which angers Todd as he realizes what's really going on. He leaves, but not before hitting Donnie and getting tasered. And he craps his pants. Because Todd didn't sign the release form, Donnie will not get paid. Donnie goes home and hears Jamie on the phone with Steve, learning that she is cheating, up with two ice cream cones when he hears Jamie having sex. After sneaking in through the window, he discovers that Jamie is having sex with none other than Dog Dog, Chad. Donnie is understandably grossed out, telling Chad he is a disgrace as a Marine, until Jamie says that he only buys those outfits so their dad won't find out he's a jazz dancer, which Donnie thinks is worse than the incest. Donnie starts leaving to tell Todd, but Jamie says she will give him money to keep his mouth shut. Donnie calls Jim and tells him that he got the money, but he opens Todd's gift and discovers. It's an oven mitt puppet from his childhood. This inspires Donnie to move on and stop the wedding. He rounds up ice, and they get to the wedding in time. That's when Donnie and Todd reveal that they are father and son, and Donnie rips Jamie's check, saying he'd rather go to prison than take her money. He forces her to tell Todd about her affair with Chad through a whisper, but Todd is so grossed out that he blurts it out to everybody, and Donnie reveals she is also sleeping with Steve. Todd then quits his job and starts walking out, proudly accepting his name as Han Solo Burger, but he is knocked out by Father McNally. Donnie, Todd, and Ice leave together. Sometime later, Donnie and Todd are having a little going to jail party at the strip club. And Jim comes in and tells Donnie that the fat guy they bet on is running the marathon. Since Donnie placed the bet, the money would come to $160,000. The patrons all cheer him on as the fat guy wins the marathon, and therefore, Donnie will now have enough to avoid prison. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can watch more videos like tea.